Hello and welcome. My name is Oren, and today we are going to speak about Enterprise License Agreement, or ELA. Of course, we, uh, we are going to focus on the ELA from the customer perspective, not from the uh, vendor point of view. ELA, Enterprise License Agreement. So what is an ELA? So it's an agreement between the vendor and the customer that allows usually the entire population of an entity to use a software or service for a specified time for a specified value. And um, this is important. In most cases, it's like that. In some cases I've seen, it's we still have a limitation, but this is basically most cases. So um, what's the benefit from the customer point of view. So let's go one by one. So one is reduce license cost. So usually uh, you, it starts with, okay, you pay a full price for this set amount of users, but if you buy this amount, you pay 80%, but I, if you buy for everyone, then you get like 60% 60, 60 discount. Wow. That's tempting. So the cost is very um, is very important here. So if you check it, you see that per item you pay less. So if you bought only 100 licenses, you pay X. And but when you set the ELA, um, you actually paid 70% uh, of it. You got a reduced price per item. Um, it's also about not being limited. So typically if you have ELA, okay, use everything. So you're not limited. So this is part of this. Second is reduce the procurement costs. So uh, instead of buying, okay, uh, let me get another few licenses and I want to change this and that. Okay, you're all covered. This is the price. That's all. So we saved some effort here. Uh, budgeting is, is also important. So, okay, I spent more overall, I spent quite a lot of money, but it's fully predictable. I know exactly what, what's my expenses. And this is also a, a benefit. In most of the cases we said, not sometimes, most unlimited. So, okay, use whatever you want. Uh, for some companies, uh, they say, okay, you, that's the LA, that's what it's going to cost, and this is for three years. After three years, okay, we're going to open it. Let's look into it. What did you use? How much did you consume? And we set another agreement. And, and in that case, you are going probably to pay a lot more in, in the next term. So it's unlimited for the term. And you have less man management because, of course, if you're unlimited, just install whatever you want. You don't need to um, think, okay, I don't need to manage it to the, every installation to count and so on. So, next, uh, so let's go to the next slide and it's the downtime. So, is the question here is, is all you can eat? Is it uh, always good for you? So it isn't always good. And um, we, we're not going to discuss everything today, but let's check some of the uh, downside related to ELA. Um, so in, in many cases, I've seen underutilization. So ah, we could uh, utilize this and that we had planned, but actually we're not using as much as we could in some cases we see ah we actually paid more than we we could if we buy if we bought only what we we need so we need to be careful about that um and second is that needs are changing so we uh, we there was a situation a technology that used, the environment was like that. 
and we close an ELA, sometimes three years, sometimes five years. It's a big commitment and things are changing. So during this period, technology change requires change. Company focused change. And you know, in a certain point in time, during the contract, you look and you say, ah, I, I wouldn't decide the same. Um, the implementation time. This, this is a big mistake that I see with many companies. And it happens to quite a lot of companies. Uh, implementation time for software system is, doesn't always take uh, like a few months. So I, I've seen uh, an article on, on the internet from Documentum. They, they say the implementation of our system typically takes five years. So take that into account. So if, if you close a contract now for ELA, let's say for three years, implementation time, no, let's say not five years, it's, it's like two years, then, okay, don't close it now. Start the implementation, prepare everything, maybe in two years. Until then, can pay for each license you consume. It takes time. It even happened for us with a customer that purchased the software. He couldn't do it because there were changes in NT and moving and so on. And eventually he already pays maintenance, but didn't really implement the software. And we were not happy about it. Um, second question is, do we really need it? Um, so do we really need to have the tool for everyone? Um, is everyone using the full capability of the tool? Can we give a replacement for some people and some will use the full capability? So we really need to think about it. The price is always tempting. Okay, wow, the price per unit is low, but we really need to consider the option. And the biggest problem I think is that when I, I've been in these discussions also as a customer, in many cases, you get to the discussion without having the full knowledge to take a good decision. So ah, who really needs it? What was his usage until now? Um, there are new requests. What do they need? What exactly? So th this is a big problem. And um, in the next videos, uh, we will talk about that. So what can we prepare? What can we do on the stage of purchasing, on the stage of the ongoing management of the ELA agreement and on the renewal of uh, the contract after we did the first uh, period. Thank you for listening today. We spoke about the management um, at the ELA agreements, mostly for from the perspective of engineering applications. And um, in the next videos, we are going to um, to further and discuss uh, everything related to ELA. Uh, I would like to get your feedback. So if you if you want to uh, to discuss, give ideas, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for listening.